hey guys welcome back to my channel i am your girl sarita if you are new here thank you for stopping by if you are returning welcome back welcome back welcome back so i'm excited about this video because i like to share what i have learned with you guys so for me as a new time mom and those other new time moms out there or those who are thinking about breastfeeding their second, third, fourth, fifth baby, I don't know. Um, I wanted to share with y'all what I have learned about my breast milk and how to increase my supply to get my stash that I get. So um, I was planning on returning to work, but plans have changed. But I have this stash in this freezer for whenever she may go to daycare here and there or go to a sitter. So um, here are some tips that I kind of want to share with you about increasing your milk supply and getting your stash up, girl. So tip number one, uno, you need to drink water. The most simplest thing that you can do is drink water. It's free. If you don't mind the sink water or if you have filters in the house free water 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 if you don't know our breast milk is composed of mostly water so if you are drinking tons of water your milk supply increases and the opposite happens if you don't drink enough water you don't pump as much milk okay um i have experienced that and I experience that way too often because I do get lazy or I just get busy and forget to take care of myself because I am taking care of baby girl, okay? So water, 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 drink it. I try to drink a gallon a day, but sometimes that doesn't happen and I end up drinking half a gallon, but that's okay. Tip number two, if I'm not drinking my water, I can alternate and um try and i i can't alternate and drink this drink called body armor now this isn't no miracle drink let me let you know right now but i can say that this drink right here hydrates me okay and it does increase my milk supply i drink i'm not a big sweet or juice drinker or whatever i basically just drink water but if i'm tired of drinking water but i don't want no juice i drink this right here this is watermelon strawberry flavor this is one of my um, favorite flavors this is the only one that i have in the house right now but they have multiple flavors so um and it does have coconut water in it electrolytes antibiotics um a lot of b vitamins and natural flavors and sweeteners so um yeah pick you up some of this i got this one from walmart um i think they like a dollar or something a piece they don't sell them do they sell them in the cases i don't know maybe they do at other walmarts but at my walmart they just sell them individually so that's tip number two that you can do that i have been doing too that kind of helped me out um tip number three so I do this like in the mornings, I drink some tea. So I bought Organics Mother's Milk. I also got this from my local Walmart and um, I don't do it every morning, but some mornings when I feel like being all fancy and stuff, but I don't want no coffee, I'm like, hmm, let me pull out my tea. So this also helps too. I'm working on my second box. Like I said, I don't drink this every day um, because I drink mostly water. Um, but the taste of it isn't bad, but it's kind of off-putting. It's a little sweet, but a little bitter at the same time. You, you know, um, it's hard to explain, but it's like I said, it's not bad, but it ain't that good that good so i let it cool down for a little bit till it gets warm and then i kind of chug it to just get it out the way um and it is caffeine free if anybody wants to know and it has fenugreek in it which is good to uh, good for your milk supply and also did you know that fenugreek helps grow your hair yeah 
I'm gonna do another video on that. So tip number four is um, this plant-based protein powder. Well, it's not really protein powder. I, I don't know why I call it protein powder because I have protein powder in the kitchen, but this is lactation um, and weight loss powder. So this is called milk dust. Milk dust. This is what it's called. And um, it's a dietary supplement. So it's supposed to increase your um, milk supply, help with your lactation, and it's supposed to curb your appetite. Now, I use this, um, I don't drink the tea and the um, powder in one. I'm sorry, baby girl, I'm not talking. But I don't drink both of them in one day i kind of alternate it because i feel like that's just too much because this also has fenugreek in it and i just don't want to overdo it with the fenugreek you know what i'm saying and this is also caffeine free i ordered this from amazon um and i will have the link link down below if you want to order it everything will be in the description box Tip number five is oatmeal, okay? So, so many different variations of oatmeal. You know, you have your um, old-fashioned oats, your steel oats, your three-minute oats, your one-minute oats, oatmeal, okay? Oatmeal is oatmeal. So, oatmeal, I eat oatmeal every day, yo. I'm so sorry she talking, y'all. But I don't want to hush her up because she talking. So bear with me, please. Hopefully you can still hear me. <laughs> but um, oatmeal, 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 oatmeal. You can dress up your oatmeal. You can put whatever you want in your oatmeal. But oatmeal definitely is healthy for you. And it increases your milk supply. So you can eat oatmeal normally. You can cook it over the stove. Now, I don't do no packages instant oatmeal. So I can't talk, to, talk about that too much. But you can also make oatmeal lactation cookies, okay? So you can, you know, get your oats, mix them up. You can use any protein powder. I'm not protein powder. Lactation powder that you want to. You can use this lactation powder. You can mix it up. You can eat it as a little snack anytime you have a little sweet tooth craving. So that's another tip right there. Um, and tip number six is pumping. You have to have a pumping schedule. So this is the pump that I have that I get through my insurance. It is the Spectra. Um, and I believe this is Spectra 1. Okay. So this pump is bomb. I like it a lot. So it has different pumping um, settings. Um, cycles the vacuum is like how much it suctions on your nipples now I don't go past the three because I don't need it suctioning my nipples too hard so you got to be careful just because you have it up to like five six or ten don't mean that you're gonna get out more milk it just means that your nipple is gonna pull through that little funnel more and you don't want that because it can cause more it can cause like damage and stuff to your nipples um, and what I like about this pump too is that it has a light. Can you, did you see it come on? You see, you see that? Yes. It has a light on it. So if you pump in at night, you can see what you're doing. It has a time. It keeps track of how long that you've been pumping for. Um, so I like this thing. It's lightweight. It's portable. You know, I don't have to keep it on the charger. It's awesome. Okay, I guess she just wanted to talk to me and tell me to put me put me in the video, ma. So basically, um, yeah, so with the pumping, what I did for like the first two and a half, three months, I literally pump every two hours, okay? I pumped every two hours because the more you pump, the more you are telling your body to produce more milk. So, um pump 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 and what i also read that a lot of other moms do is that they will power pump so in between their two hours they will um pump like a straight like 10 like i think it's like 10 minutes and then they will stop for like five minutes pump again for another 10 minutes because you are signal signaling me you you are sick make sending your body a signal okay 
you're sending your body a signal to produce more milk um so yeah so the milk that my child wasn't and then the milk that Sanaya wasn't drinking off of me um I will pump after she's done eating because she only drinks what she needs so um yeah so that's how I got my milk stash um right now she is four months um my milk has regulated because kind of like after the 12 not four yeah she is four months i'm sorry after the 12 week mark um your milk supply has already regulated okay so i've noticed in the beginning of my um my journey when i started breastfeeding i was an overproducer because if you have watched my other video when i talked about my breastfeeding journey um i was an oversupplier because i had got like mastitis mastitis and um clawed milk ducts so to prevent that too is you have to pump you have to let that milk out and um even after she's done eating i will i will pump and get that milk off of me and i will i will put that in the freezer or i'll put it in the refrigerator for her next feeding session so yes those are my little tips and tricks and the things that I was doing to A, increase my milk supply and B, to build up my stash. So yeah, um, I'm still putting stuff in the freezer here and there, but not as much as I used to because I don't need a stash. <laughs> because this little girl right here, yes, this little one right here, she nurses a lot. Thank you for the kisses. So anyways, thank you for stopping by. Hopefully this helps some of you guys. And um, if you have any questions, leave them down below. If you want to share what you have been doing with others and with me, maybe you know I'll learn something from you guys. Um, leave them down in the comments. And I look forward to chit-chatting with y'all later in the next video. All right, see you later. Wanna tell them bye? Or you just want to look. Bye.